Hey, it's Crush Family 4 here. I am at Walmart in Rocky Mount, and I got my second injection today. And it stung maybe just a little bit when I got it, but it didn't hurt at all. I mean, it didn't hurt. Just maybe just a little sting. So, I'm so happy to get the second one. And after two weeks, oh, finally be done with all this. I know we still have to wear a mask and still follow all the guidelines, but we will feel safer. So I'm waiting my 15 minutes and then um, we'll go from there and I'll update you on how I feel later. I got the second of the Moderna. Okay, I'll let you know later how I am. All right, so it's a little bit later. I waited my 15 minutes and did fine. I felt like I got maybe just a little dizzy, but I don't know if it was just in my mind. I'm crazy. So uh, I'm gonna take a walk on the nature trail back to our house. I got really sleepy in the car, but I think it's just because the sun was hitting me. But so far, so good with that shot. And I'll give you some uh, shots of the greenway here. It's a nice little walk back to our house. So this is the Wolf Creek Greenway. And I got on at the 20, I don't know what you call that road, Hardy Road, right there where the best little hair house used to be. And this gives you the distances if you walk the whole greenway and some of the rules. But it's very peaceful out this morning. There's like nobody hardly out here. It is gravel. I wish they would pave it. They do have a little water fountain and I think a little fountain for doggies, I think. But uh, it's very peaceful and pretty this morning and the birds are singing. Oh, Tanner had a better night last night. He has not been sleeping well at all. So I feel a little better today. They do have a little doggy. I love when they include it for the little puppies, you know. We were thinking about getting another doggy, but I guess we won't do it. Tanner doesn't really do that well with them, but I don't know. I'd like to have one. But anyway, I don't know if you can hear the birds singing. They sound so pretty. And they do have lots of little uh, benches set up, so you can just walk a little bit. If you're out of shape like I am, <laughs> sit down, take a little little break, and listen to the birds. Bring you a book out here and read a book. And then they have these little things with birds in them. And I can see the little birdie coming out. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get too close. Can y'all see that? Come on now, sweetie. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh my God, he's poking his little head out. He flew out. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. I hope y'all saw that, but I love these little things. I want to get one for our backyard. And the little more mile markers. I can't talk today. Let you know how much further you've been, or how far you've been, or how much further you gotta go. They even have some little potties set up if you need to go to the bathroom. Okay, we're coming up on some more signage. Like I said, they haven't posted. Um, Every little bit, so you know, you know how much farther you gotta go. Man, I'm so out of shape. I'm out of breath already. I'm gone like no distance. But it is such a pretty walk. I love the little bridge. Get down at the water. This isn't the really prettiest one. We'll come up to a better one soon. If I can make it that way. Okay, on the, the bridge. I don't like this bridge. It freaks me out. This is my least favorite part of the whole thing. I wish they would fix this. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I have like claustrophobia. Oh my God, here we go. It's probably gonna get dark. Oh, they keep you with me. Oh, it's scary. It's always wet under here. Get your feet all dirty. I don't like it. We made it. So they're doing a restoration project over here at the trail. I haven't even been over since I started all this. It, it looks like it's gonna be so much nicer. Looks like it's wider through here. And I guess they're trying to take care of the um, drainage issues that were going on over here with flood and it was always a mess. It's hard to walk on this trail because it's so uh, huh, uneven terrain, I guess is the right word. 
Here's another some more signage. So you know how far you got to go. Yeah, this is looking so much better. All that trees and stuff are all cleaned up. Here's some information about the watershed. Yeah, very nice. And here's some uh, mutt mitts. You take your puppy out here to walk and he has a poo poo accident, you can clean it up. And then this is Goud Park, which is along the trail. Um, it's just some baseball fields, t-ball, I guess, and stuff for the kids to play. It's so nice that the kids are able to go back to their sports. I know they've missed it. Gosh, this looks so much better. I just can't believe it. They really needed to do this. And this little part right here is actually paved. I guess because it's over here at the park. can't believe how much better this part is too so oh my gosh it used to be all grown up over here and I was a little freaked out about snakes but look so much nicer and a lot of times you see little kids down here playing in the water <laughs> so now they can get down there and play or maybe they're not supposed to be down there playing I don't know maybe it's to keep the kids out of there I don't know but it does look much much better so we're coming up on a mile marker that we've been since we got on the trail over at Hardy Road. I want some more signage. It's really nice that they have a lot of this out here to let you know where you're at and how much longer you gotta go. I really, really wish they'd paid this, but we used to walk this almost every morning after Tanner was born. <laughs> He'd get in his stroller so he could take a nap because even as a newborn, he was not a good sleeper. And I'd push him. And we would run into this group of little old men, and we called them the Papas. <laughs> and they'd always want to see him. They'd always say, Where's that baby? <laughs> Such a good memory. It's funny how seeing a place brings back a memory, you know? <sighs> I would love to get Tanner out here and get him walking on this trail, but uh, maybe we can work on it some this summer. He has a really hard time. Uh, around people now. He just came, seems to kind of freak out. Guess where he's been. Oh, I'm out of breath. Stuck in the house so long due to COVID. But, um, he could definitely use the exercise and socialization. Because eventually he's going to have to be able to go places. <sighs> but just my thoughts today. Just my mind wandering as I'm out here walking because I think it would be so nice to walk with him. We used to see another little boy from Tanner School out here walking and he had his iPad with him. <laughs> but maybe this summer we could start working on it. Look how pretty this is through here. This is one of my favorite parts. But my favorite part we're coming up to. I won't spoil it for you. And we come on some more signage. I keep my phone still. Let you know how far you've been. How much farther you gotta go. I am so out of breath. Okay, this is a really, really pretty part of the trail. Oh. We walk over this little bridge. We got some running water. I hope you can hear it. This is so pretty. Grace and Hunter put their names on the on the bridge. I don't know if you can see it. So pretty. There's a place right here that's worn down from the kids walking down to uh, play in the water. A lot of times in the summer you'll see them out there. The doggies go down to get a sip of drink. It's beautiful dogwood. Look at that. And some more signage let you know how much further you got or how far you've been and this is right behind the William Byrd High School uh, I guess middle school too I guess maybe I don't know uh, baseball field looks kind of crappy they need to clean it up so it looks junky and I love this part of the trail it's so nice and shady on a hot day oh look at this it's a little rough terrain through here. It can get really muddy if it's been raining. 
but I like this part. It's nice and peaceful. There's some more signage. So we've been a mile point seven five. Keep going. That's my favorite part. My favorite part, and I'm sure everybody's favorite part, is up here by the farm. I don't know if you can see all those little yellow buttercups in there. So pretty. We got some animals out. The bench we can set on. We have to cross over this little bridge. It always freaks me out. Ooh. I think I see a donkey. Here's the house. It's so beautiful. I remember when it was for sale. I was like, oh, I'd love to get that. It put up. Hi, donkey. Oh my gosh, she's coming over here. Look at him. Hey, Togo Bogo. That looks like a sheep. Like a little poster of all the different animals out here. Don't run away, baby. Here's another donkey. Hey, Jack Jack. We used to have a donkey when I was little, and his name was Jack. Hi, sweetheart. Look at your pretty face. Look at your donkey. Yeah, hello. You have a good day. Enjoy this beautiful day, donkey. It's going to be pretty weather. Yeah, it's springtime now. Here comes your friend to join you. Look at that. Two dog dogs. Okay, y'all have a good day. And I love this spot. I don't know, that tree hanging across the water, it's just so pretty. Hey, kitty. Just hanging out in the sunshine. Yeah, getting some rays. Hey, it's about um, 2.50 in the afternoon and I got my second Moderna shot this morning around, um, I think it was around 9.30. And I did my walk afterwards and I'm, I mean, I feel okay. I felt a little bit tired after my walk. So, was it the walk or was it the injection that made me tired? I don't know. Um, but my arm is super sore. <laughs> it was like, like I said, it stung a little bit this time when I got the second shot. But, um, it's super sore. I can't talk. Super sore now. Which, it was the same way with the first one. And then, I'm having the same thing I had with the first one with the really bad itching around the injection site. But, um... I'm allergic to everything under the sun, so who knows? It might be something in there I'm maybe just a little allergic to, but it's itching pretty good. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't really feel um, nauseated or chills or any of that stuff, but we got a little bit longer to go, but so far, so good. So I just thought I'd check in with you and let you know how it's going this far, and maybe I'll check in again later tonight and tomorrow. So, I'm glad that's out of the way, and um, everybody get vaccinated. It's really important that everybody do this so that we can try to get back to some kind of normalcy. Um, we got we to gotta get back to normal. So, just get your vaccinations. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, sugar. You don't want to be on the camera. <laughs> you don't want to be on there. Oh, me. Good morning. Oh, last night was a little rough. I woke up having chills. I didn't sleep very well, but um, I had really bad chills and I felt nauseated. My head is pounding this morning, so um, I just wanted to let you know how I was feeling today. I feel tired since I didn't sleep very well, but um, Oh my gosh, what do you do? You know, my arm is so sore. It's just throbbing and itching this morning. So, um, hopefully I can rest a little bit today while Tanner's at school. And, um, I don't even know what I've got this camera on. You don't want to tell everybody hi? 
You slept like an angel. You got up about four this morning. Yeah. You got school today. No. He doesn't want to be on the camera. We're watching something. I don't know what we're watching. Blue's Clues, maybe. Team Umi Zoomy. I got me a cup of coffee. Try to wake up. Okay. He did not sleep very good. Um, so. I was hoping I wouldn't have any problems, but um, and I just feel so tired right now. I don't know why I couldn't sleep last night, and I'm sleepy now, but um, maybe once I get Tanner to, off to school, and I can take a little nap, because we have ABA therapy tonight. Oh, Lord, so i got to feel better by then. So, I just wanted to update you on how I felt, and um, hopefully all this is going to go away soon, and I'll be back to normal. But, um, if you like this video, if it gave you any kind of information, just give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And subscribe. We only have 19 subscribers. We need some more. Come on, people. Like these videos and subscribe. Alright, well, thanks for watching. And Crush Family 4 is out of here. Have a good day.